The purpose of this video is to show you how to manage your photos using albums and the photos app in your phone and how that contrasts with organizing your photos using the file system on your phone. There are advantages and disadvantages with both, so I'm going to run through those with you. I'm going to tap the photos app on the phone. Let's say I have a photo, I tap that. And for the purpose of demonstration, I'm going to make a duplicate of this photo. So I'll tap the square in the lower left. I'm going to select duplicate. So now I have a duplicate of this photo. And I don't want to delete this photo from my phone, so that's why I made a duplicate. Um, so here we go. I want to first save this to an album. Maybe it's an album that I haven't even created yet. So I'm going to tap the square share button at the bottom left. And I'm going to select add to album. Now, I think I'd like to make a new album, so I'll tap New Album, and let's give it a name. Let's call it River in France. Save. Cool. So if you notice, it dumped that, um, you, all, you probably noticed the photo being dumped into that folder. I'm going to tap the arrow in the upper left. Let's tap Albums at the bottom. See River in France album there? Tap that, so my photo is in there. So I'm going to go back. And uh, let's go to the library again. Now, um, if I wanted to, let's say at a later time, add a photo to that particular album, I would tap that, fo that uh, photo, as I've just done, tap the square share button uh, in the lower left, tap again, add to album. Now there's my album right there, River in France. So I'm gonna tap that, bam. Now, I already added that photo to that album earlier, if you might remember. So I want to show you that when I tap on this River in France album, it's not like it made a duplicate of the photo just because I had already added it before. It was really a redundant process that I just did there. But I want to show you um, how when you delete an album, it doesn't delete the photo in your library. The albums are just a way to organize your photos, and you're not duplicating photos in the process of adding them to an album. Um, you're just simply compartmentalizing your photo library, essentially, so to speak. So what if I want to delete this particular album? Well, let's go back to uh, albums. Here we go. So I want to uh, see all these. I, I selected see all. See the see all option there? I'm going to click edit. So here's my album, River in France. I want to delete the album. So I'll tap the negative red button there and I'll select de delete album. Now, did it delete the photo? I'm gonna click done in the upper right. Let's go to the photo library, lower left. Look at that, the photo's still there. So by deleting an album, you're not deleting the photo itself. So I'm going to, once again, um, put this into an album. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna illustrate what happens when you delete a photo, what happens to it in the album. Well. It's the opposite effect, so I'll show you. So here's our album again. I've saved it there. All right, so what if I delete this photo? Again, let's look at the albums. See, the photo is in the album. It's there. But what happens if I delete the photo from my library? So I'm going to tap library. Here's the photo. I'm going to click the trash can button in the bottom right. Delete photo. Bam. Let's see what happened. Upper left arrow. Let's go to the album, check it out. River in France, there's, in fact, there's nothing there to show, nothing at all, there's no photo in there. So um, what if you wanna delete a photo from your library, um, but you wanna have a way of saving it on your phone, and so the best option is to use the file management on your phone. So let's swipe out of this, um, actually, no, I wanna go back to my library, I'm gonna duplicate that same photo again. But instead of saving it to a, album, we're going to save this photo to a folder in your file management system on your phone. So I'm going to swipe out of this. And let's say um, I'm going to swipe, go to my files app. There it is. I'm going to tap that. There you go. So um, you have, I already have some folders here. You can arrange them however you want. Notice that I am um, in the on my phone part of the file system. If you tap browse, there are other um, ways to organize files. You can organize them on the iCloud drive. So I have some items in my iCloud back using browse. Um, you know, if you have one drive, you can have files 
online that are accessible to you. Um, and the same goes for Dropbox and so on. But we're going to focus on the on, on my phone option. So let's tap that. You can arrange these however you want, by the way. You can arrange them by name. I've, I have an alphabetic list here. You can name them, arrange them by size, like file size or folder size, and so on. Um, let's go back to by name, alphabetic list. Also, if you like the grid arrangement, you can select the grid, the icons grid, and it arranges them this way. But I'm going to keep them in the list. So I'm going to select list. All right. So what if I want to make a folder that I want to dump photos into? Well, um, it's pretty easy. You just tap the three dots in the upper right, select new folder, and there you go. So I'm going to call this river in France. Done. All right. Now I've made that folder. Now there's nothing in it, but I'm going to put something in it. So I'm going to go to my photos app, which I had in the background, and I want to dump this into that folder. So I'm going to select save to folder, or save to files. There it is, right there. And uh, yeah, so I do want to save it on my iPhone, so that's selected, but I want to be real specific about where I want to put it. Here's my folder called River in France. There it is. If that's where I want to put it, and I've just highlighted it with my finger, I'm going to select Save. Bam. Let's see if it's there. So I'm going to select River in France. Sure is. And there it is. Now the disadvantage of using the file management system on your phone to store photos is that if you decide you want to edit the photo, you can't really do that here. Uh, you'd have to edit the photo in your photos library and, uh, and then save that edited photo into your folder. Now if you decide later, I want to edit this photo, um, well you're going to have to basically put it back into your photos library if you deleted it there already. In fact, let's do that. Um, I have two copies of this, right? I'm going to delete this in my photo library. Great, it's gone. What if I want to put this photo back into my photo library? I'm going to select the square share button at the bottom. And you can select Save Image. Save Image means you're going to put it into your photo library. So let's see if I did that. I'm going to swipe up. Let's go to my photos library. Do I have it? There it is. Yeah, it's right there at the very bottom. It's my last photo. There you go. So that's the photo that I just saved from the uh, folder I had created on the file system in my phone. Uh, that, that photo is now saved into my photo library. And I can edit it, and I can do all kinds of things with it, which is for another video, of course.